Brennan, just walk us through going back into Ohio State, just getting out there for a couple of opportunities there, particularly on that last play at the end, man. Just what's going through your mind as a, a true freshman in, in that setting, game on the line, everything else, and you're out there. Yeah, it felt great, you know, um, being in that stage as a freshman, just, you know, it's what you live for. That's why you come to a program like this. And overall, I wasn't too nervous because, you know, I'm just so locked in, but it was definitely a memory that goes down in the books for sure, you know. You dream about this as a kid playing on the biggest stage of college football, so it's definitely one to remember. In this past week, you got that many more opportunities and wasn't just third down situational stuff either. So what have you done here so quickly to be able to be out there and you know, gain the confidence of your coaches to be an every down guy? I'm just, you know, taking it day by day, you know, trusting my fundamentals and technique and just, you know, just really honing in on my craft. Um, you know, I feel like every week and every day I'm getting better, you know, um, progressing. So I'm just trying to build the trust for my teammates and my coaches to allow me to go out there and make plays. What's the adjustment been like from a high school guy to now in college of when you're going up against particularly like what Stony Brook did, 12 personnel and overloading the boundary side, you're up against a 345-pound hmm. tackle who's four years older than you and multiple tight ends. What's that physicality adjustment uh, like? You know, for me, it's all about relying on technique. As you see, I'm not the biggest, I'm not the strongest, I'm not the fastest. So if, all for me is just relying on technique. And, you know, I'm just knowing what to do and how to use my body and my leverage against certain types of players. So, you know, just really just working what best works for me. Now, now that you're here in Eugene, um, you've had a chance to get acclimated. Uh, you talk about how important technique is. Obviously, your dad's a, a big help in that department. H how much of a, a help was that now that you've made that jump to college? Oh, it helps a lot. You know, um, I remember we used to, he used to wake me up early, way before school, to wake up and watch film. Sometimes I used to be late going to school because we used to be wa <laughs> watching film, just different clips and breakdowns and stuff. And he still helps me to this day. Like, I still send him clips of, like, tackles we're going to be playing against this week and we'd just be on the phone talking what moves to use you know what counter moves if he does this you got to do that so you know it's ultimately just a bond of a dad and son bond that goes way more than football so I really appreciate that. How has he kind of helped you just in, in fall camp getting used to the, the college game being in college being a division one student athlete I mean I'd imagine some of the off-field stuff he's been really helpful in right? Yes sir um, he told me it ain't going to be easy because you know you chose this so you know Every day he always used to, every morning he used to send me a text, just something motivational to get me um, started throughout the day. And he still does that. So, you know, he just told me and just gave me great advice. And I, I just use that every day, you know, to be the player that I am. What's today's? Last question. What's today's text that you got from your dad? Today's text was be you and it's just football at the end of the day. That's what he texts me every game, every morning. It's just football at the end of the day, no matter um, if I'm getting five snaps, ten snaps, it's just football. Just go out there, be fun, have fun, and just be you and do you. Yes, sir.